Congressman call on Obama to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital. IDF disciplined soldiers seen beating Palestinian during violent disturbance. Police officer filmed beating Ethiopian soldier won't face criminal charges. Controversial film about Yigal Amir to be screened at Jerusalem Festival. Shalom and welcome to the Jerusalem Post News. The top stories for June 15th. Pro-Israel congressmen have called on US President Barack Obama to use his executive power to officially recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital. The call came following last week's US Supreme Court decision to strike down a congressional law allowing Israel to be written as the birthplace on passports of Jerusalem-born Americans. The Supreme Court said the law encroached on the president's authority to set foreign policy. Many members of the Congressional Israel Allies Caucus are now calling for Obama to use the power the court ruled he alone holds to do what the now-cancelled law authorised. The IDF on Sunday tried and punished four soldiers involved in an incident on Friday in which a Palestinian man was struck and verbally assaulted during a disturbance in the West Bank. The army concluded that the incident occurred in the course of a lengthy violent disturbance during which rioters hurled firebombs and rocks at soldiers. The investigation found that the Palestinian man seen in the video attempted to create a provocation. The brigade commander concluded that the decision to arrest the man was correct, but the manner in which the arrest was carried out was wrong. A separate case against a police officer who was filmed attacking a soldier of Ethiopian descent has been closed by Attorney General Yehuda Weinstein. The case will now be sent back to the police disciplinary unit. The case against the soldier, Damas Paqueda, who was arrested after the fight with the police officer and only released after the video went public, will also be closed. In mid-May, the police officer involved was fired by the Israel police, but protesters have repeatedly demanded he be placed on trial. A documentary about Yigal Amir, the assassin of the late Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin, will be screened at a Jerusalem film festival that is partly subsidized by the state. The film Beyond the Fear features interviews with Amir's relatives, including his wife Larissa and his mother Geula. It also includes taped conversations between Amir and his son. Rabin's granddaughter Noah Rotman reacted angrily to the anticipated screening, accusing the film of turning Amir into a celebrity. She said, however, that she would try. She would not try to prevent its screening. Yeah. And that's it for today. We'll be back tomorrow with more news from Israel. Until then, shalom from the Jerusalem Post studio.